my name is Esther Yang. I'm the founder and executive director for Super Happy Healthy Kids. And I teach kids to do karate, yoga, Lego mania, med meditations, and I teach them how to swim. Mostly teach them about how to be a better person because when I was growing up, um, it's nice to be so loved. And so I thought that that's uh, how I do it because I think my investments with the kids and to teach them to be a better person. I, it's my way of investing in the world because this is how the world is going to be, in my opinion, better. Um, I was born in Jakarta, Indonesia. I went to school in Singapore, and then I came here, and I have eight brothers, and I'm the only girl. So I have five older brothers and three younger brothers, and what's really unique about my life, and I think I have a very interesting life, I was adopted by this American family, and so both of my mom and my dad are Caucasian. My Chinese parents have to give us up so we could be adopted, so we could stay here legally, technically so that I could be a U.S. citizen. My, my father was a police officer in New Jersey, and my mom, was, my mom worked for General Motors. And I feel that um, I'm very privileged to be adopted by them because they were really, really there emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, and they never miss any of like my brother um, wrestling game or or anything that I do. They were like so into us, and I thought if anything that I learned for anything, um, they really taught me how to be grounded and to really be uh, to how to raise children. And because that's how I am with my kids when I do karate just or yoga, and I just think like it's so much fun. So um, that's really how I got to be um, how I got to be here because because of my dad. And I remember um, swimming. I was so afraid of water, I couldn't even swim. I, I wanted to throw up every single time. And my dad would swim from the one side to the other. And here's this guy that. You know, that's not Asian, that's not really my real dad, but he would really took the time and act like as if like I am his daughter, which even though he adopted me, he didn't have to be that nice, but he did. So he would swim back and forth. And now I'm a certified scuba diver and I love the water. And um, he also like never introduced me as adopted. I mean, clearly we don't look alike because he, He's German, and he always introduced me. Oh, this is my daughter Esther, and my mom's the same one. My mom never ever introduced me. This is my adopted daughter Esther. My mom always introduced me. Oh, this is my my daughter Esther, and I thought that acceptance, that unconditional love, was um, totally amazing uh, for me to experience because I didn't even experience that with my real parents, and so I really understand that being adopted that you don't have to give birth to your child uh, to have that love. I think to be an American for us, for Asian, we could do more. I'd love to see an Asian president, and I'd love to see an Asian senator, uh, Asian you know, congressman or women, or an Asian, more, more Asian city council, because right now we only have a few. So that's really for me to be, uh, to be an American, that we not just take it for granted, but uh, really to vote and to register to vote and to help other people to vote and to be really civilly active.